yes hello and welcome back to another video from small Axe music productions uh, today i'm going to be looking at um, xln addictive drums i had the new um the old version version one and i just got version two um maybe um, a day ago um, right, so I, just, I only had it for a day. Um, so I am gonna do a comparison of both um, VSTs, I'm pulling up uh, version one as we speak, so you guys could have a look before you go out and 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 purchase um, the, a copy or upgrade. Um, do whatever all right so this is version one I pull up on the screen here the side of the screen and coming up is version 2 this this is version 2 so we're gonna walk through and have a look at both so first get right in we'll be looking at the whole interface of it how much has been changed and what have remained and so forth so let's go so i have both kits here this is um, version one this is the, the new edit screen um, all right let's start from the kit the kit screen that's the main screen here right that's the kit for version this is for version 1, this is for version 2. So, as we can see, there's a lot been changed. Alright, so you no longer have a display of a, the, the complete kit in this area. Um, all you have is like just the, the um, pads, the elements here. And that's about it. That's how they much it have been changed the whole display is bigger and you have a audio record um, indicator here um, that's what it says here um, okay drag it seems like you have a drag and drop feature here um, it's a way fine as a matter of fact you have a little camera here that could take snapshots um, so that's um, pretty much it you also on the mix inside of it here you have flex 1 flex 2 and flex 3 so he, um, that's where you used to have extra here. There was only one extra. They even rename it and call it Flexi. Flexi 1, Flexi 2, Flexi 3. Here you have an extra. And this is where you could add a different um, um, element here. I, I, let me click click it and one of them and show you. So you could, uh, you could add some um, trigger um, pad there as well you could also even add a different kick sorry for the audio loss there you could even add a, a, a different um, a kick drum or an extra thumb or something there so that's not bad that's not bad yeah it's good to have that fl amount of flexibility all right so um uh, you have the overhead room and the bus mic as well right um and my hand my disappointment is they don't give you a control feeder here for just the symbol um, a lot of time i'm doing um productions and i'm i want to use just close mic in without the room or the over overhead and i don't have that i have that in bfd um i spoke to 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 
XLM audio I wrote um, and I even got a response uh, requesting that they put a, a symbol um, fader here so we could control just the symbols without the room um, and, and the overhead bleeding into it and so far it's not there um, that's a downside of it for me and I'm sure there are others as well anyway moving on um, pretty much um, everything is basically um, there that was in the old old one so far another thing let me go over here this is where on version one you could click here and you would load save save as make your presets and all of that and you have a little tab here for recent um, kits that you, you played around with um, I use a um, slot here and here you go and select different kits um, in categories different categories right so this was very good for, for me um, over here on the other hand when I click here this is what I get I have some, some beats thing here I'm not sure what they do this for but right I'm not sure what that is excellent um, I don't think I like this no I don't like this you have the categories here acoustic electronic percussions and you have here some presets here um, I guess, guess this is where you save your own presets um, and I'm not sure what this is I don't think this is better than the other one and I'm not sure that it's to me it's not better that's not working for me anyway normally you would go here and select your kits select different kits right see I'm selecting different kits here right uh, here is pretty much the same but I like the older version better it's simpler and more user friendly all right so excuse me that's 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 basically it for that but um, over here you have this knob to play your beats, it's pretty much the same. All right, and then here you have a display um, tab here, which gives you a different display, right? Of different different kits and all. So, and you you read a. Uh, 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 small buy on the kit or whatever um, of the person here in views you have different views you click here you have different views so you have a larger display right which again I don't think I'll be needing that all right so that's that all right let's go to the edit, edit page on the edit page I realize and it's obvious quite obvious that there are some changes here um, right on the edit page let me just go to the kick to the kick all right so um, you have this section here um, which is here on this one this is here I realize I add some um, tube noise effect here. This is here. It's not on the older one over here. You have a compressor and the distortion. It's built in together on the, the new one, right? With um, tube effect, tube effect on it, right? Over here, um, it was separate. 
uh, over here, but it's in one over here. The EQ is there. What I noticed is with the EQ, we have now we now have a four band EQ um, and version two over here. Um, this was a three band and the first one and this one here we have a tone designer it's a transient designer for drum and a response knob, knob here i'm seeing here as well um, the volume envelope remains um, likewise it was on the first one um, um, i think the pitch I think the pitch design, the pitch over here is for, is the same thing as the transient. It looks different and they probably name it differently. Yeah, that's what it is. As a tone designer, it's the pitch over here and the new one. So it's not new, only that it's changed somehow. Yeah. Right? And they. Sorry, Sorry for the audio loss again. They, they add some, some tape um, if you pick here, here. And, and the new, new one. one. And, and I think it was, it was over, over here, here as, as well as, as saturation. saturation. But they, but they change it as tape. Maybe, maybe they, they emulate, emulate this with some, some tape, tape effect. Uh, All right. So, so and they have a shape um, and the key um, tab over, over here. here. Um, I don't, don't see, see over on version one. one. So, so the output, output tab now is there as well, and both of them. them. So, so pretty, pretty much, much have, have some new new features in in the, the new new one. one. All right. All right. Let's, Let's make this quick, quick. and, and the, the effects page um, pretty, pretty much um, seeing the ambient tab here. They, they remove it and they put it here. Uh, right? So the EQ is there as well. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so both, both EQs, EQs are here, here still. still. Um, right, right, so, so and the delay, the two effect channel is here. here. Whatever, Whatever you want to put on it. Um, so, and both reverbs are there. So, pretty much the effect page and window is pretty much. Um, the same as you're looking at it, right? Um, so I think okay, the tabs here, the knobs are here, are here in this little window here, and it used to be here digitally, you didn't have any knobs here, so that's changed, okay. You have both outputs over on this end, right? So, pretty much the same, all right? Um, what I noticed new as well is these two knobs here for the send. Um, you have two here, I think these are master. Um, so, this is effect one here, this is effect two. So, you have control of the weakness here and both, both of these so, uh, to control it independently, that's nice okay so over here is your beats page a lot's been changed to me you have um, here you can store your own presets and you have all of these things here they call it demo um, alright this is reggae. Okay. Beats. Yeah, by the way, excellent audio. That's this is called a dance hall. 
preset. This is not a dance hall. This is rig. This is calypso. Yeah. Okay. So this is where you go to find your beats. All right. Um, in different categories, and they change up the search um, window here. So as you can see, you could compare them for yourself over here. Yeah, you have more functionalities over here compared to the older one. All right. What I'm seeing over here is pretty much simple. Tempo sync. I am not seeing it over here. Okay, it's here. So sync tempo is here as well. All right. Okay, sync play. And here is where you have a record tab. And I think this go hand in hand with this record tab down here on the bottom if you are seeing the mouse. The, the record indicator light. I think maybe that's where um, it's, it, both of them work. I'm not sure because um, I haven't seen any video out there um, from XLN Audio, just a simple demo promoting the thing, and you, you don't get any information from the demo. That is the reason why I'm doing this because a lot of people out there um, buying things and they don't know what they're buying, just as what I did when I did the upgrade, and now I am regretting it. I'm regretting it big time. Right, so let's go to the highlight of this, this, this um, review. My problem is, and listen good everybody, I think a lot of you will share the same concern as me. Right. Excellent audio sucks. Let me go ahead and say it. Excellent audio, you suck. Why is it that you make a new program? and not put any new kits in it for us. See, look at these people. Look, all we are seeing here is the same old kits made for the kick, kick drums. Four of them we got in the older version. Let's go over here and check. Look, people, look. Look, everybody, look. Same four kicks, same four over here. No new drum sets, there are no new kit pieces. Our excellent audience is telling you to do give us money for a new product which has nothing new in terms of the, the main thing why you make a drum software is to have drum sounds, right? There are no new drum sounds, no new kicks. Our kits overall. See, no license, no license. You have to go and buy these things, and they are bloody expensive. I think this is very bad, excellent audio. We needed to have more kit pieces, right? That's the main reason why we buy your product. We need more sounds, right? It can't be too much sounds. Anyway, look. Look, look at this thing now. Alright? Tams. All the same tams. If you are familiar with excellent audio addictive drums. All the same tams. All I'm seeing here is no license. No license. So, this is rubbish. This is madness. You have to give us something new for our money. People don't just work money to, to, to give you for nothing because and this thing here, I could live without this interface. I could use the old one and live without this interface. So on the edit page, all of these saturation knobs and these different effects and all of that. Sorry for the audio loss again. I could go into Pro Tools or any other DAW and have my plugins and get saturation. So this is, this is, this is, we need to have kits. We don't need your effects if you want to make it fine. But the main thing at the end of the day is to give us more sounds variety of sounds so we could work with right 
right no problem with the different knobs and all of that i'm sure some people would find it um, um, um good for them but i could use different saturations and different effects to get whatever i need right and furthermore when i use addictive drums i don't play around with these knobs here i do all my thing in my host i do all the effects and everything in my host so i don't i'm not impressed with this we need more kits need more kits definitely more kits right so when you make a, 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 a software and you you charge us a certain amount of money and, and and you don't put any new kits in it right all my concern that this year all the hi-hats are the same all the snares are the same everything is pretty much the same in turn in in terms of kits i mean superior drummer tune track come with easy drummer it's way better than this to me in terms of sound sounds right right bfd has better sound right this thing to me the ones that are we're already there it sounds too compressed also um the seniors are not cracking as the other softwares that i'm hearing the kicks are not bad the thumbs are not so bad even though they sound compressed and some of them are a little dull right the hi-hat sucks it 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 no matter how much eq you put on these hi-hats they still not sizzling and crispy right so i had to be replacing some of these sounds with different different um, programs right right the ambient is good for sure but we need to have more more samples than this this is is very bad right also i had a request i'm a reggae producer why is it that you guys have to put some suck reggae in this thing these reggae and dance beats don't cut it you have to show that you care for for us reggae producers as well right i did a thing and i did my production and a lot of people have been asking me how do i get my jobs to sound that way in my production and i'm telling them i can't even tell them addictive drums because i i replace the samples right and just use maybe the kick and the, the ambient and, and the thumbs i replace the sneer and the hi-hat right because it's no good to me right so what I'm, i suggest is the next time you're doing something please hire don't use a, drum, a rock drummer to play reggae beats right hire a reggae drummer from jamaica right and let them take over their kit with those reggae seniors right everybody know reggae senior is different from every other general series right so it, the reggae senior is a highlight in, in, in a reggae track a reggae beat so get a reggae drummer with, with a reggae kit, kit right right and have you do do the samples in that in the, the room that you have right don't bring this this thing and, and try to sell us man this is this is crap right you're playing cheap you don't give us any new kits or any new kit pieces right right bfd additive job superior steve slate all those people are investing big and, and, and making their thing whenever you see an upgrade you get something new what happened to you guys excellent audio this is rubbish this is madness you guys need i mean people are satisfied people who pay rock and all those they might be satisfied with this but what about me you don't care about me you don't care about us reggae producers right you have to do better than that excellent audio right right i just scrap the reggae and, and forget, forget about us right but if we are going to buy this this is my last dime i'm not spending any more with excellent audio right you have to come with different kits right you can't fool us with this 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 lame lousy thing right i like to work fast i i i could even make reggae beats um better than this because i wouldn't even compare my reggae with this anyway but i like to work fast right this feature that you have here drag and drop 
drag and drop here is very nice. So if I could have a decent reggae beat and drag it there without I have to go in and move around notes, right? It saved me time and time is money. So think about it, be excellent audio. I, I hope you guys listen and just make addictive drums. Um, the top program man I, I I don't hate the program but I'm, I hate the way you guys are playing cheap and not not giving us more for our money right so I think I made my point I hope you guys listen and thanks for you guys watching I hope this video um, help you in some way or another so Take care, peace, and one love. I'm very upset. <laughs> All right, one love.